The Canby Barrel Race Club started in 1970, so we are approaching our 50th year next year. It's a really big honor to be the president, and all of our club members are super excited that we've been having this great tradition for so long. The sport of barrel racing traditionally comes from professional rodeos, and some of us are not quite good enough to be in the rodeos, so we participate in clubs or series around the West Coast in barrel racing, which in case anyone doesn't know, it's a three barrel pattern and you run kind of a clover leaf pattern as fast as you can with the horse. It's mostly women. We do have some men that participate. It's open to everybody. In the professional rodeos, usually it's men that do the bull riding and the bronc riding and whatnot, and then it's the women that do the barrel racing. It's fun. You get to go fast and you get to hang out with your friends and you get to be around lots of amazing horses. We're out here to have fun, burn and turn. That means you're gonna burn around that barrel and turn as fast as you can. <laughs> don't knock it down, don't look at the barrel either. <laughs> it's not easy at all, there's so many moving parts and you can't just like practice once and be done, you have to constantly be practicing and so it's cool to see the final thing kind of come together and he's new to this too so it's um, watching him learn and, and get better, so yeah. It's exhilarating, it's really fun. Um, you're just flying around barrels. And it's really fun, actually. You just keep pushing and trying to get faster and faster as you build up, and then you're pretty much there. When I was young, I liked it for the adrenaline rush. <laughs> now I'm a little bit not so fearless, per se, but it's fun. I mean, and when you connect with your horse and you got a good team and you go out and you have a good time and it can be nerve wracking, it can be, you can get, you know, anxious and stuff, but it's part of the gig and it's just, it's fun. We like it. Oh no, no. grandma oh, no. competes. I'm competing. <laughs> it's a three generation <laughs> affair. I was born into it. My mom barrel raced till she was six months pregnant with me. Yeah. <laughs> so I was born on a horse, all because of grandma. She started it. It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure, but we're definitely a big family, so you can go from trying to beat somebody to after they come out, if something happens, you know, you're there to help them. It's a sport where the whole family, no matter what age, because little ones start and moms, you know, lead them out there, and so it's just any age, and it can be for fun. You don't have to be real competitive, but most everybody is, it ends up being that way, you know, because it's yeah. just, uh, you wanna win, you know. Horses are amazing and they become your partners. So, you know, you're not alone. You're out there with your best friend and building memories. So it's a good challenge for yourself as well. Myth has it that Clackamas County has the highest number of horses per capita in the United States. There is an extreme concentration of barrel racing right here, which is why I choose to move to Clackamas County from Portland. Um, there's lots of arenas around the area that have the sport, so we don't have to drive very far. And we we think that we're the best county for barrel racing by far. Mm -hmm.